Well guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. Today I'm gonna make stuffed mushrooms. I'm excited to bring you along for this because it's so delicious. And I'm gonna do it two different ways. Maybe uh, one way you might not have thought of, but I've got uh, one that I'm gonna do with a spicy Italian turkey sausage and cheese and it's gonna be really good. So hopefully this inspires you to stay with me because the other one's gonna have a mm, secret weapon ingredient. And uh, You'll have to come along for that one. So go down in the About section below, hit like on the way down, share this on your Facebook page, and um, check out all the links that I've left for you. I've got my Wild Tree website as well as my Facebook page that you can go over and hit like and share your videos or your pictures of stuff you've made. And if you make this, put a picture up and show us what you did. All right, guys, so let's go make these delicious stuffed mushrooms. Come on. Okay, so stuffed mushrooms are one of our very, very favorites. We'll definitely have this on the uh, Super Bowl table. Just, you know what, it's a healthy snack too. Um, mushrooms have a full day supply of vitamin D. They're just really good for you. It's a great source of vitamin D. So what I've got here is a half a brick of cream cheese, maybe a little bit less. Um, I've got some of the mushroom stems chopped up here. I've got some fresh garlic and some um, fresh parsley. And I've got back here for the other kind, I've got Parmesan cheese and leftover polenta. Yes, you can stuff mushrooms with polenta. It's delicious. So, especially because this is herby and it's got the chicken stock and the garlic and all the cheese in there, it's just gonna be a winner because nobody's gonna be expecting this one. So what I have is my sausage. I cooked off uh, Italian turkey sausage. And I'm not, I don't know that I'm going to use the whole thing here. I had it draining, and I don't know that I'll need the whole thing, really, because um, I don't want to waste anything. But, oh, and then I want about half of that garlic. I have chopped it all up for uh, this recipe and an, another recipe that I'll be doing here in a little bit. So I've got my sausage, I've got my mushroom stems, and we'll take about half of those, I think, um, is all I'm gonna need. And again, that the rest of that can go in my other recipe, and I'm gonna put all the parsley in there. I think that adds a pretty color. It also adds um, some flavor. So it's kind of a forgotten herb. I don't think people use enough fresh parsley. That's just my opinion. So, okay, now we're ready to get this mixed up, except I'm gonna need breadcrumbs. Okay, so I've got some Italian breadcrumbs here and I'm just gonna eyeball this I only need, it's gonna work as a binder, maybe a tablespoon or two. We'll just leave it at that. And then we're gonna get this working together because we want all this to get worked so in. So we're all ready to up. get these mushrooms stuffed. And I like to have a lot of stuffing in them because you know, most hors d'oeuvres are two or three bites, so we want this filling to fill up the little gap here in the center. And the moisture from the mushrooms as they're cooking, the mushroom stems that are in there will um, add moisture, the breadcrumbs will absorb that. It just becomes magic, magic, okay. And <clears throat> yum. Okay, I'm gonna stuff these. And then for the other ones, uh, I'm gonna wipe my hand here. For the polenta, can't be any simpler. It's the same process. 
you're going to grab a, a bunch of your uh, cold polenta. And the recipe that I did for you, the crock pot polenta, oh my gosh, I'll leave a link to that in the um, comment section. The first comment will be mine and I'll leave the link to that video. It makes a lot, but you can cut the recipe in half. Okay, and then now that I've got a couple of those done for you, I'm gonna go ahead and what a great way to use up polenta. Hmm. Top that off with a little Parmesan. Just on top, it'll get a little crispy and brown and just makes this delicious. And there we go. I'm gonna finish stuffing the rest of these. Get it in a 425 degree oven for usually about 15 20 minutes so this is the finished product and they smell amazing so I'm gonna taste one of these little babies for you this is the one with the polenta and a little bit of cheese on top mm. it's just a creamy bite with that hearty mushroom it's delicious <laughs> mm. yum and for the sake of timing, gosh, that's good. I'll taste a small one with the sausage mixture. And most everybody really likes the sausage uh, version, but uh, you'll be surprised how many people go back for the one with the polenta in there as well because it's just creamy and the texture is different and um, it just works. So that being said, or at least my polenta recipe works in it. <laughs> Mmm. Yum. That is so good. Absolutely fantastic. I don't think I have a favorite. I'm, I'm, I love them both. <laughs> so good. Okay, guys. I hope it inspires you to maybe mix up your stuffed mushrooms every once in a while and surprise your guests with something new. And um, that's a creative way to use up leftovers when you've got that kind of stuff laying around. If this does inspire you, go ahead and hit thumbs up. Uh, maybe go share this on your Facebook page if you really like it. And uh, hopefully you'll come back next time. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You'll get notified whenever I upload anything. All right. So I can't wait to show you the next recipe because it's going to be absolutely fabulous. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. God bless.